Hi there, this is Will from Stacks of Stacks and in this video today I'm just going to present to you the latest version of the Hotspots Pro stack. Um, Hotspots Pro, this latest version, doesn't really gain an enormous number of new features. Instead, much of the emphasis of this update has been on refining the editing interface, making the stack much more flexible and much easier to set up. To get Hotspots Pro stack set up, you'll want to open your stacks library and drag and drop a copy of the stack into a page like so. You've then got the option over here on the right hand side to customise how the Hotspots Pro stack looks and behaves. You'll need to start with a, a base image. You can either use an image which is dragged and dropped into Rapid Weaver or selected from your computer or you can use a warehoused image. Today I'm just going to use an image which is on my desktop. That's the base image set up. To actually create hotspots on the area of the image, you'll want to click on this blue plus button up here at the top right hand corner. We have already got one hotspot area highlighted here, which is loaded by default. And you can see that in the new editing interface, we can very easily change the position of the hotspot area, um, both horizontally and vertically and we can change its width and change its height very easily too. Uh, at the moment I've got some instructions displayed at the top of the stack here. They can easily be turned off like so in the stack settings, leaving just behind this selectable hotspot area. Lots of options to customise the appearance of your hotspot regions. Um, that can be found here in the global styling. Global styling implies that once you've set up these styles, they take effect on all hotspot areas in the stack. However, it is possible to select a hotspot area and down here in the hotspot custom styling, you can actually override things like the background, uh, the borders, and you can apply custom content. Now, speaking of content, you can still make use of font awesome icons. So I'm just going to paste in a, an example icon here and press the return button to lock that content in place. I can see straight away that you know it starts to look a little cluttered so what I can do is I can actually go back to the main settings and I could say that I want to um, turn off the border so we set the border weight to zero pixels and I can also if I wanted to just turn off this uh, background altogether so again I can say I want it to uh, zero percent opacity uh, when it's normal and we could say 0% opacity when it's hovered and that way you can just see you just have a simple map pin area um, on, on your hotspot stack. The colour of the content there can be changed at the moment it's of a dark steely grey um, I could change that to say a bright red colour or something like yellow which will show up on the, the uh, green of the image and again, you can toggle the colours for both the normal map pins and for hovered map pins as well. So I could say I want it um, orange for hovered, like that. Uh, so again, select one of these uh, hotspots and it's highlighted with a blue border. And that way you can easily see in edit mode that the height and width of it and adjust it accordingly as I'm doing right now on the screen. Uh, so I could say I want to move it slightly up and we'll go slightly across to this other side and we'll try and sort of highlight one of these mountain peaks in the in the background like so. Uh, quite straightforward as you can see. There's now support for an unlimited number of hotspot regions on your image map. To add new hotspot regions you just keep on clicking this blue plus button at the top right hand corner and again I've got a new area now so I can go ahead and put in my custom icon. I can uh, resize the, the area and I can reposition the hotspot to highlight something different. Uh, you can see it's it's a lot lot quicker to set up now. It, it's very easy. You don't have to keep toggling between edit and preview modes now. Uh, it's very simple from that perspective. One of the other new options I've added to the stack is the support for smooth scrolling anchors. A common problem with a lot of image maps is that on smaller screens it's difficult to fit a detailed amount of content into a small area. 
Um, if you can imagine, if you've got sort of blocks of text and, and content and things like that, it's very difficult to get that to show on a small screen like a mobile or something like the iPhone. Um, it is just too prohibitive the amount of space available to display that amount of content. So we've now got the option in the stack of something called smooth scrolling anchors. Uh, this is very easy to set up. You just want to enable this in the general settings and then on your actual hotspot regions we can give these assigned links. Um, so we'll give these assigned anchors, sorry. Uh, so I could say I've got one called, I want to call it red. This one here, um, I'll call it something like green. And then you might have noticed at the start of this video that I already had a bit of content on this page. And in particular, I've got two blocks of content down here, one called red and one called green. What I've done is I've set up some anchors here. So I've got one here called ID of green, and I've got another one here of red. And uh, when I preview the page and we see the, uh, the hotspot map, there's our hotspot areas there. And if I click on these, you'll see I'm now actually scrolled down to below the hotspot section of the page and I can view more content in, in greater detail. Existing settings which were available in previous versions of Hotspots Pro are still available. In particular, we've got things like Lightbox support, support for toggles, tooltips, um, all that is still there. The style options are all here, still here. In some instances, I've actually added a few more style options, particularly towards being able to differentiate between normal states and hovered states. So you've got a bit more control over that. It's still The stack still does much the same as what it did before, but you can see I've just refined the editing interface, made it a lot easier and faster for you to set up your hotspot stacks. Um, it's a very nice, solid update and uh, I look forward to hearing any feedback you've got about this stack. Certainly if you've got any questions then please let me know and you can contact me through the Stacks for Stacks website um, or through social media, anything like that. And I look forward to hearing from you again soon.